Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what you see us looking at right now is the Amazon Fire TV with its standard interface. I think the interface for Fire TV is very nice, but one issue that people have with this is that it doesn't have sort of a traditional app discovery system. You'll notice that a lot of it, especially on the home page, is pretty much dominated with Amazon content. All of these things are things you can rent from the Amazon store. So for people who have a lot of other apps, especially side-loaded apps, this isn't a particularly helpful interface. I mean, it really is a storefront, which is Amazon's prerogative, of course. But there's a new app launcher called Firestarter, and I'm going to show you how to load it and what it looks like. The easiest way I have found to load anything onto the Fire TV is through using a browser or Aptoid, the unofficial app store. With Aptoid, I was able to download Firefox. So we're going to launch that. Now Firefox doesn't work perfectly, but what it will let you do is enter URLs for websites and using the directional buttons you can actually get to it without actually using a special keyboard and use the circle button to select the URL bar and what you do from there is go to github github is a great place for app development communities so we're going to github.com and you see that it's already sort of in there. You might even be able to see behind the scenes that it sort of remembers that we were there. But that doesn't mean that we don't have to type this stuff in. And of course you're going to have to do that anyway. Unless you've got Firefox on your Fire TV and have done this already. Now github.com is the main website and what we're going to go to is a special developer named Sphinx02. Okay, so there it is. We're going to press next, but this is the URL that you've got to type in. Sphinx github.com slash Sphinx. S-P-H-I-N-X-K Oh, sorry, not K. S-P-H-I-N-X-02 and that's actually 02. I'm going to say next and now we're on the github page and what you want to do is use that directional button to select firestarter and press the center button again from here you want to download the APK so we're using the directional button pressing down and we're going to get to the little section where it explains that you can download the APK. You see? Download Firestarter APK. We're going to press the center button and from here there's the APK. Let's see if I can get it a little closer. Okay. So, we're going to press OK again with the center button. You see it says complete action using Firefox. We're just going to say just once here because we might use something else in the future. And what that's actually doing is it's downloading it. Unlike when you use this on a computer or some tablets, you can't just go directly to the downloads folder of Firefox because of the general nature of the browser and the way it works with the Fire TV. So you're going to need another program to open it. The one I use is ES File Explorer. This can also be downloaded using Aptoid.
So you launch the application. And from here, you can look at a lot of things as far as apps and installed things that are on the Fire TV. But what you want to look at here is download. And you see we downloaded Firestarter. We've actually downloaded it twice. But for these purposes, we'll open this one. And you see you have your choices. It should all look pretty familiar to anybody who's used to Android and you use the directional buttons to select install and now it's going to install it directly on and look at how fast that was so we say open and you've got a completely different little app interface for the Fire TV From here, you can look at all of the apps that you've got installed, which in this case is really not all that many. Here, it gives you some information about who put this together. You can check for updates. This is the latest version right now since we just added it. And here, you can change some settings about what comes up when you press the home button and things like that. You can even set it up so that it's started as soon as the TV thing starts. One of the big features of this app is when you press the home button it does not leave the app. And that was an issue that some people had with earlier versions. So like I said we're in the history one. Press home and even though it does flash up the regular Fire TV home screen, it's going to go back to this. And if you want to get back to the normal Fire TV home screen, you just go to this section, press the button, and now you're back in the regular Fire TV screen. But I think that this is a really nice option for people who are looking to do more Android app streaming on the Fire TV. And it also doesn't hurt your TV. You don't you don't have to root the system. You don't have to change anything really. You just want to make sure though that you have your settings on the Fire TV set up like this. You want ADB debugging on and apps from unknown sources to be allowed. Without that, you're not going to be able to load the system. But that is Firestarter for the Amazon Fire TV. I hope this video was helpful. And if you thought so, please subscribe, share this video with your friends, and show them how streaming really works. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.